Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting video. Today I'll be showing you how to make an awesome looking thumbnail with your smartphone. Having a great looking thumbnail is important to get people to click on your video. I create my thumbnails using a larger camera and a photo editing software, but you don't necessarily need all that gear to make an eye-catching thumbnail. You can use something as simple as your phone. Especially when you're starting out, creating thumbnails can be overwhelming, at least for me it was. So in this video, I wanted to guide you through a simple process that you can take to shoot better thumbnails. And we will be editing the images using the free version of InShot, which is available for iOS and Android users. By the way, I will be using the thumbnail I made for this video as an example. So before you start taking out your phone, you want to think about what you want to capture in your thumbnail. For this thumbnail, I wanted myself to hold a phone pointing towards the camera because I thought it would fit well with the topic of today's video. I also used a white background on the phone screen so that I can place a YouTube logo on it. You also want to think about your text and where you want to position it in your thumbnail. I usually like my thumbnails without text, but I will show you how you can add text to your thumbnails. As for the background, you can use plain walls or just anything that isn't too distracting, especially if you want to add text to your thumbnail. You want the audience to focus on what's relevant in the image. Next is to set up the camera. I'm currently using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but you can also do it with an Android phone. The principles are the same. I'll be shooting in landscape mode, which is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. I will position the camera so that I have myself in the frame. And because I have the Apple watch, I can easily use it as a monitor. I have set it to portrait mode to have the background blurred out. This creates a better separation between the subject and the background. The timer is set to three seconds so that I can position myself while the countdown starts. Keep in mind that if you want to add text to your thumbnail, make sure to leave Leave some room for it. From here on, you keep repeating the process until you're satisfied with the picture you want. So once you shot your thumbnail, we're gonna edit it in InShot. So open up InShot and I'm gonna select the photo that I like best. And the first thing I do is I'm, I head over to Canvas and I'm gonna change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. And I'm also gonna zoom in all the way. And I'm also gonna position the image downwards a bit. Like that. Then I'm gonna hit the check mark and I'm now gonna color correct and color grade the image. So I'm gonna head over to filter and select adjust and I'm gonna increase the brightness to around three. And I'm also gonna add some contrast around four. And I'm also gonna make the image look a bit warmer. So I'm gonna increase that as well. And I also want to get rid of the greenish tint. So I'm gonna move the slider to the right just to reduce some of the greenish tint. I'm also gonna add a little bit of saturation, not too much, because when shooting photos with the standard app, it already looks pretty saturated. I'm then gonna head over to curves. I'm gonna lift up the shadows, like so. Hit the check mark. And what I'm also gonna do is add a little bit of sharpening, not too much, to around 10. That looks good. And here's the before and after. Looks way better. So I'm now gonna add a filter to the image. I'm gonna head over to filter. And below you have different presets. I have the full version of InShot, um, but if you just wanna purchase a package, it costs like one or two dollars or so. And my favorite one is the Cinema 01 which gives the image an orange and teal look. And I'm gonna reduce the intensity to around 20. That looks great. Here's the before and after. Awesome. I'm now gonna add the YouTube logo on to the phone screen. And to do that, I'm gonna head over to Google. 
I'm gonna type in YouTube PNG and I'm gonna select this one over here, tap hold on it and download image. And now it's saved to my camera roll. I'm gonna move over to InShot. I'm now gonna head over to Sticker and to the very left, uh, I can choose Camera Roll. And I'm gonna select this YouTube PNG icon. So a PNG is an image without a background, basically. And I'm now gonna reduce the size of it and I'm gonna position it right over here. Make sure it's centered. So, okay. I'm now gonna add text to the image. So I'm gonna head over to text and I'm gonna name it perfect thumbnail. So I'm first gonna write in perfect, hit the check mark and I'm gonna position it up here. I'm gonna add another text called thumbnail. And I'm gonna position that right below it. And I'm also gonna increase the size so that people can see it better. And I'm also gonna increase the size of the perf of this one. Move it over to the middle, like so. And I'm also gonna turn it a bit, just slightly. I think this looks great. I'm just gonna reduce the size a bit. So I'm now gonna export the image. I'm gonna click the upper right icon and it exports it to the camera roll. So I'm gonna head over to the camera roll and here it is. Looks really nice. And to upload it on YouTube, um, if you have YouTube Studio, you can do this pretty easily. I'm gonna head over to it right here and I'm gonna select videos. And I can, for example, change this thumbnail over here. I'm gonna select this video and I'm gonna hit this pencil up here and I can just select the pencil again and then tap on change and then select the thumbnail you want to change and apply it. So there you have it. You have a perfect thumbnail shot and edited on your smartphone. All right guys, so this simple step process is a great way to create thumbnails on your smartphone and getting people to click on your video. If this was helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, make sure to make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating these awesome tutorials for you guys. By the way, we just hit 40,000 subscribers, which is insane. And I want to thank every single one of you for supporting this channel and helping me keep growing. I can't say how thankful I am to have helped so many of you. And I get a ton of message and I try my best to reply to all of your messages. But if you need more help, I recently created a private Facebook group, which is called Smartphone Filmmaking, where you can ask questions, share your work with others and get feedback. Back. So if you're interested, there is a link below. We'd love to see you there. Now, if you're new to smartphone filmmaking, don't miss out on my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you find the right tools to get started. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.